All right, hey, shalom. Hello, my child. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rekakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. According to the Holy Scriptures, where God chose a people. What you're looking at is a true depiction of the one ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, and the Heavenly Father name is Yahweh, one ignorantly called God or Jehovah. Shalom to all the brothers out there pushing knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters. Shalom to all the profusion of faces who have, who have heard his word and more willing can continue to grow you know, and um, spread the gospel as well. All right, coming back at you with another lesson today. Today's lesson is going to be a part two on the scattered Israelites in China. It's going to be more info on the scattered Israelites in China. All right, um, I'm going to start off with, uh, yeah, I just want to show a few pictures here. That what you're looking at here, this is out of, um, out of this book, African Presence in Early Asia, you know. Pretty much, you have Israelites who are, who are scattered in early Asia, and we are dealing with China today, and that's in the scriptures as well. As you can see, this is a so-called black man, and he was um, an immortal. So I'm going to go down real quick, bring out the excerpt on him. It says, Heather T. Guao, one of the nine immortals of Taoism, who lived during, the, during China Golden Age, is an accomplished martial artist. T. Gua was known as an iron staff immortal, hand painted on silk during, during um, it's like an early Yuan Dynasty, 13th century CE. Okay? So when you go into this book, African Presence in Early Asia, <clears throat> this picture is located. You, you can't, this book is really expensive now. I had to get this all. One of the bros, well, actually, two of the brothers <laughs> um, downloaded it for me in the camp. You know, shout out to them, brothers. This is on page 366 in this book if you get the PDF file. All right? Because we once ruled China um, before and Japan as well. First dynasties. All right? An accomplished um, martial artist. You can see he has the staff there. Also, you know, our people were going off and they were worshiping different deities. And those deities, dealing with Buddha and all that, was after our, our, our complexion, the dark-skinned people. All right? So you, this is what they would look like today. So you still have Israelites over there in China. You get different paintings over here as well. But, you know, a lot of these people as well are, are, are heathens as well. But you have Israelite blood mixed in over there as well different um, statues, look at the hair um, complexion, I mean the, the hair texture, only us um, Israelites can have a hair, you know in corn rolls and things of that nature alright, so this is top row, this is the black Buddha from early Asia, Botswana Bushmen, black dign dignitary in the Wan Dynasty China, courtesy of the Asian Art Museum of San Francisco alright it says, uh, bottom, you know, wedding party in Seoul, photos of Chinese people, a black man in the Tang Dynasty, China, photo by Renukru or uh, Rashidi, all right? It says, China, for the complexion of men, they consider black the most beautiful in all kingdoms of southern region it is the same. Remember this southern region, all right? Because that's, that's written in the scriptures as well. The Lord is going to gather all the nations. I mean, not all the nations. All the Israelites who are scattered throughout all the nations. And one of these regions is called uh, Sinem. And it is in southern China. All right? So, <clears throat> took some pictures. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the nine immortals founded this. Uh, he's, he's one of the immortals of Taoism. That's an ancient uh, Chinese uh, philosophy. Was deal with uh, martial arts, and this is out of this book. 
called what it ne- what they never told you in history class volume one this is on page 242 it says Lao Tzu, the founder of Taoism was black China 667 BC era of the Lao Quin or the Lao Si. Lao Si was a divine incarnation in the human form he was born of a virgin black and complexion as a beautiful jasper right this is something they want to tell you so going back to what I just brought out this all um, this Jake right here um, one of the nine immortals of Taoism Taoism was started by the so-called black people right plain and simple just going back to this information I brought out so this information I'm about to read to you is from the um, African presence in early Asia get you the table of contents for it if you get the PDF file to download it, um, goes into uh, with a table of contents. Uh, start at page 121 for this information here. So I forgot to, uh, I'm going to find it real quick. Give you the page if you want to uh, download this PDF file real quick. Bear with me one second. Yeah, this is on page 126. I'm going to read it for you. All right. It says, following the divine dynasties, the epoch of the three dynasties included the Hasai, Chang, and Chao. Remember, the, the immortals is from the, um, I'm sorry, they're from the, the Wan dynasty. I'm sorry. These are the first dynasties that were set up. The earliest Yang Chao sites are found in central Xi, Xinxi. Southwestern Shensai and Western Hunan. This region of southern, southwestern China, according to ancient traditions, was the domain of the Hashai dynasty. Give you the time frame. Okay. During this semi historical period, hostilities were beginning to grow between the north and the south, forcing the southerners to continuously build walls I'm sorry to build walls to keep out their agnostic neighbors the founder of the dynasty Yu Haishai was recognized as a great hydraulic engineer prehistoric hydraulics are often associated with agriculture and again tradition Locates its cradle in southern Shensai. Though archaeological evidence on this dynasty has not been forthcoming, traditions divides it into nine great divisions. One of these divisions was known as the Li Chiang, the Chiang, who may have originally come from the West were black. You know, we're not black today, but that's the term, that's, you know, that's a byword, different shades of brown, okay? Present day people known as the Nakai, Nashai, consider themselves descendants of the Xiang. The name Nakai was apparently given to the Xiang by the Mosul people due to their dark complexion. Nakai means black man. The Mosul were also dark, but not as dark as the Nakai. These people currently live in the Tibetan mountains. Southwestern Shensai, the stronghold of the Hasai dynasty, and the southern province Shensai were occupied by the Xie. So these first dynasties that were set up were controlled by people of color. And these people, some of them were Israelites as well. Okay? So we're going to get into the scriptures to prove everything we're saying is correct. All right? Given 
all praise to Yah Bashim Yahweh for this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Double on to the apostles and elders. This is Isaiah 49, verse 7. It said, Thus said the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel. Because you got you gotta remember, we got scattered in different parts of the world. And one of the parts of the world Israelites has been scattered has been Asia. During the time of the apostles' journeys, they went to Asia. Well, you when you look, I'm gonna get into that. I'm sorry, I want to jump the gun. Thus said the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, the Holy One, to whom man despises it, to whom the nation abhorred. That's the state we're in right now. Right now is a nation where are despised and abhorred. To a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise. Princes also shall worship because of the Lord that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel, and he shall choose thee. All right. Thus said the Lord, in an acceptable time have I heard thee, and in a day of salvation have I helped thee. And I will preserve thee and give thee a covenant of the people to establish the earth, to cause to inherit the desolate heritage, heritages. That thou mayest say to the prisoners, go forth to them that are in darkness, show yourself. And that's why the information is going out on a wide scale, as you can see today, through the internet. Because a, a lot of our people are ignorant in darkness, especially the Israelite foreigners. So that's why, you know, the Spirit is hopping on brothers to do these, these lessons. They shall feed in the ways, and their pastors shall be in all high places. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he that hath mercy on them shall lead them, even by the springs of water shall he guide them, which is through this knowledge. All right? The spirit of the Lord is, is, is the spirit of prophecy. And um, through us brothers putting out information, that's how our people are getting guided. And I will make all my mountains away, and my highway shall be exalted, which is metaphorically dealing with his people. Behold, these shall come from far, all right? These are the Israelite foreigners, they're Israelites. And lo, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Sinem. Now, I received this must give it up. I received this precept from one of the bros in um um in the Washington north the northwest in you know, the Washington camp, brother Kasai. Posted it up on um on the WhatsApp. So shout out to that brother. Uh, the land of Sinem. When you look it up, it says a people living at the extremity of the known world may be identified with inhabitants of southern China. That's the spirit right there, boy. Now, remember when I looked this up, China, when you go all the way down from this information, it says, uh, for the com for the complexion of men, they consider black and most beautiful in all the kingdoms of southern region. It is the same, the southern region of what? Of China. So, a lot of these dynasties, you know, were set up by Israelites. All right? course they were going off going back to nine of mortals who, who started this uh a philosophy taoism there's a lot of martial arts come out of that it was set up by israelites and later on got you know taken away by the heathens so that that's it right there man and you further uh go into this word as you can see you go down to the lexicon Sorry, make sure I show the audience how to deal, how to use this. All right, you go down to the Gen Just Neus Hebrew Chaldee Lexicon. You, you see right there, Chinese, right? All right, I'm going to click on it. So it says, uh, the context required that this must be very remote country to be sought for either in the in the eastern or southern extremities of the world. I understand it to be the land of the Ceres or Chinese. This very ancient and celebrated nation was known by the Arabians and Syrians by the name, I don't know what the hell that is. That's Arabic language, so 
the bros out there can speak this language, please, you know, it should be a message on the comment board. And might be known by the Hebrew writer living at Babylon when it was but almost a metropolis of Asia. All right? So, bam! Chinese. Okay? So, going back to the different uh, the, the Chinese dynasties that was set up when I was reading earlier, following the divine dynasties, the epoch of the three dynasties, including the Hasai, Chang, and Chao. And also you have the uh, the Wan dynasty as well. And you have the, uh, the Nakai, the name Nakai right there. It means black men. So Israel, man, was ruling for a period of time, even though they were going off, dealing with these different philosophies, all right? So continuing on in with this, this precept, it says, uh, sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing a mountains. For the Lord had comforted his people who will have mercy upon his afflicted. That's dealing with the elect. So this information is going to be, it's going to spread. Well, it, had, it has spread throughout the four corners of the earth. And you're going to have Israelites looking like the other nations, looking like Chinese and Japanese and so on and so forth. Okay. So it's up to us, brothers, the Most High has given us Holy Spirit to, to bring the pieces to the, we are the pieces of the puzzle that got to bring this thing together from apostles and elders on down. So continuing on. This is Isaiah 43, 5 through 7. It says, Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west, from the eastern hemisphere to the, from the western hemisphere. Go to the north, northern hemisphere, and give up, and to the south, the southern hemisphere, what, the whole globe. Keep not back, bring my sons from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Women, men and women. It's going to be part of the elect, you know, well, of the stock of Israel and the stock of the Israelite foreigners, which are all Israelites, but you understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, then over here in um, the western hemisphere, Easy, easy, you can tell who's an Israelite, so on and so forth. But you have Israelites who will be scattered throughout these other nations looking like them. All right, that's part of the elect. Everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory, I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Plain and simple, man. All right, so moving on, first Peter chapter 1 through 5. It says, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shai, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. So, to broaden Brothers Horizon, when you go into Asia here, it's only dealing with a Pacific part, right? It says, uh, Asia proper, a pro counselor, Asia embracing Mycia, Lydia, Pergia, and Carib. Korea corresponding closely to Turkey today. You have to use your brain, man. We branched out ever since this time frame of the, the apostles preaching this word. We have branched out, and I, I just proved it. Okay? Plain and simple. So we have Israelites over there in Asia, and, to, and today Asia consists of 48 countries. You have to look that up, which includes Turkey. China, Japan, you know, different places like that. So we have Israelites scattered throughout 48 countries in Asia when you look it up. All right? That's plain. It says, elect, according to the foreknowledge, because we for once knew this, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, through the sanctification of the Spirit, unto the obedience and the sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shai, Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. It says, Blessed be our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai from the dead. But the reason why I'm saying Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's the true pronunciation of our, of our power, our Father and, and his Son. 
you know, if, you know, you can read, you can say, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ is on the sofa, but the deep understanding for the elect is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of the Most High through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. That's when it, everything is being revealed right now. Wherein he greatly rejoiced through now for a season, if need be, he are in heaviness through manifold temptations. Well, yeah, this goes on to something else, the trial of your faith. But yeah, man. So the elect, according to the foreknowledge of a of a of, of a father, you know, who, who, the elect, the elect who, who were scattered throughout these all uh, different countries, and today we're dealing with Asia, right? Specifically, China. All right. Moving on. Revelation chapter one, four through six it says, "John to the seven churches which are in Asia." And bam. Which are in Asia. It's a, you know, same thing again. You know, today will be Turkey, but. But it has branched out. Israelites have branched out. When you look it up, Asia today, you have, you're dealing with 48 countries. So these different dynasties weren't established around the time of the apostles and elders, okay? That I read to you in the African presence in early Asia. Okay? It says, John to the seven churches which are in Asia. So you have Israelites over there in Asia. Grace be unto you and peace from and which is and which was and which to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne to deal with the angelic forces. And from Yahweh Shai, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. And had made us kings and priests unto the most high Yahweh. And to, to be glory and dominion forever and ever. All right. So, so going back. <clears throat> All right. This is a uh, this is a brother right here, Jake, the Israelite, during the time of early China, and we started doing our own philosophies. Buddha, original Buddha was dark. This is what it would look like today. All right. Different pictures, artifacts. How we got mixed in the actual, or you know, more bites over there. All right. And it says one of the nine immortals of Taoism who lived during the China Golden Age, an accomplished martial artist, Ting Wei was known as the Iron Staff Immortal. All right. Now, going back to what I brought out earlier, Taoism was found at. It says, Lao Si, the founder of Taoism, was black. He's a dark skinned man. Okay? So, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash, Lord willing, is edifying, let's unto the very elect. Shalom.